Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2s. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download and install Microsoft Office 365 for free. But before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just under this video. So let's get started. So if you're looking for a way for you to start using Office 365 on your Windows PC here, well, there are a few things that you need to understand. Now, we all know that the Office or Microsoft Office 365, uh, you need to basically get a subscription or in this case, you need to pay for a license in order for you to start using it. But the thing with this one is if you just really want to use it, there's actually a free version that you could try out there and basically use it on your PC here. So as long as you have internet access. So how do you access that? Well, first things first is you want to go open up any browser here and you want to go to the very, uh, or you want to go to the specific uh, page I'm showing you, which in this case is going to be the following. So it's going to be office or account.office, if I'm like, uh, account.office.com here or account dot microsoft yeah so account microsoft dot com just press enter and you should be able to see this login page here now the thing with microsoft here is they usually use like outlook email so if you already have like an outlook account you could already use that for basically accessing microsoft tools uh online now it might take a while here to load up so let's just wait for it to fully load up here but to be speaking, uh, if this is the first time that you're accessing this, so I'm just going to log out from my account here so that uh, you can actually see the full process here. So yeah, in here, you could go and just click on sign in and you could just use your already existing Outlook account if you already have one. Now, by the way, if you don't have an Outlook account, yeah, we actually have a tutorial video for that for creating one. So you can just click on create one here and just follow the on-screen steps. But for detailed steps, you may want to check out our video for that. But in this case, since we already have an, uh, an account here for Microsoft, you could go and just click on your email address here or enter your email address here and click on next. Again, let's go and choose our Outlook account here. And let's go and just log in into our account by entering a password and click on next. Now, once you've created your account or logged in into your account, you can just go ahead and click on the dotted icon at the top left of your screen here and just choose Microsoft 365 Copilot. Now, in Microsoft 365 Copilot here, you should be able to uh, see the options for you to creating documents, presentations, workbooks, forms, even quizzes, even lists, and designers, and even like video use, uh, using ClipChamp. So in this case, as an example, give you just to give you some idea, let's go put up document here and Word, and as you can see, it's it's going to be pretty similar or quite similar to the original uh, version of for uh, Microsoft Office. You have the option to edit your text here, make it bold, italic. Option, or you also have the option to insert, even change the layout here, reference, review, view, and even like the help uh, tab on or usually you usually have for Microsoft Office Word. Now, in this case, this is where you could just start editing whatever you want, or in this case, uh, editing your document. Now. In this case, what if you don't want to use uh, your uh, you, your browser here to just open up or access this specific uh, apps here for Word or presentation here? Well, the thing with this one is if, if you visit Microsoft Office here, let's go open up Microsoft, uh, sorry, Microsoft Store here. If you visit this one and type in the following, it's going to be Microsoft 365, Microsoft 365, and you want to search for 365 Copilot. Now, if you should search this one, you could just you could just basically click on Get here, and this will install this specific app here. Now, the thing with this app here is you can actually get or use the apps here without using your browser, just through the Microsoft 365 Copilot app. Let's just wait for it to uh, be downloaded into our PC. So from here, let's go and click on Open. And it should open up Microsoft 365 Copilot here. And as you can see, uh, you should be able to access the same apps that we saw before. Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and a lot more. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.